Hello there, I'm Nat Wallen. First off, if I tend to go off on a little bit of a rant here in this video, I apologize. I don't typically like to stir the pot or get involved with online discussions about what's right and what's wrong. Um, and in the same breath, I've also had the luxury or I guess the uh, the ability to look back in time because I've been in the real estate business since 1995. So I've seen lots of changes. And the current environment that we are in today is very difficult. And any market is difficult unless it's a balanced market. And I've seen several of those. Um, right before COVID, it was fairly balanced. Um, in 2008, it was very heavily weighted on the buyer. Sellers could not sell their homes and it was stressful and people were doing short sales and foreclosures and the sky was falling. And, and now we're in this frenzy atmosphere um, where the sellers have the upper hand. And so, so let me tell you what happened. And, and you tell me if you agree or disagree with this, I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. But I feel like we as agents, we have an obligation not to just our customers, which of course we do, but we took an oath to treat consumers fairly. And that goes beyond just like the obvious, don't be fraudulent. I kind of think about it as not how I want to be treated, but really um, how can we support humanity? And, and let, so let me explain. So I have some clients that were coming in from out of town. I've shown them several properties. They make a trip here every time. They drive several hours to get here. And um, a, a house came up in Mount Pleasant in the 500 range, and I went to set up a showing for Sunday at 11, and it's Thursday now. And um, it was blocked out in showing time. Showing time is our app that, um, that you know, you know this already, but if you're a homeowner, I'd love your opinion on this too. Or if you're a buyer or a seller, I'd love your opinion on what's, what you think of all of this. Um, but, uh, so anyway, showing time blocked it out. They couldn't, they said, no way you can't come on Sunday. And then I read in the notes that they were going to have an open house, uh, Friday from I think 11 to five and another one on Saturday from 11 to five. And this is something that I've seen happen since COVID where it's really just a, you know, it's a strategy. Let's get as many people in here as humanly possible. Let's open up this gap um, and let's, you know, pull for multiple offers and sure, that's great for sellers. Um, but you know, my argument was, well, look, my folks are coming in from out of town. They can't come on Saturday. Um, they are nervous about COVID. They have, you know, immune issues. They don't want to be in a house with five people, 10 people, 20 people. They just, they don't want to be in that environment. And I respect that. I mean, they know who I am. They just want me to be in the house with them. They know that I'm vaccinated and boosted and everything else. And I'm not asking you whether that's right or wrong. That's not the, the video here. But my consumers have a general concern. Uh, they're VA buyers, so they've served this country. They, they, um, they've done everything to protect our freedoms. And now I'm being forced to push them into this stressful scenario because an agent decided that this was the best advice that they could give their um, customers. And, you know, I, I did talk with the agent about it and I said, you know, I feel like, you know, we should give everybody the opportunity to have a quiet moment to think about this big life decision that they're going to make. And we should respect people's times, even if it's more work for you, even if it's more inconvenient for the sellers, we deserve or we should be as agents, we should be supporting the industry to create an environment where people feel good about the process, regardless of the market conditions. If people feel good about real estate in general, we are the face. We have that obligation to our industry to elevate it. And so making a strategy where I can be the hero and get 25 offers and make all these people bump into each other in a, in a COVID time um, is, is um, I, I think it goes against really what we all agreed upon when getting into this real estate business, which is to kind of try to think about everybody and whether it's right or wrong, according to the National Association of Realtors, none of that matters. What matters is how we are representing our industry as a whole and how we should really think about how we strategically react or take action 
in any situation, regardless of who we are representing. Now, sure, they can get 25 offers. I don't have a problem with that. I'm not going to stop that. But, you know, here's what happens with 25 offers. First of all, it's a lot of work for the realtor because we've got to go through every single one of them. Secondly, you have one property to sell and 25 offers. That means 24 people are going to be let down. And I did not get into this real estate business to be let down. And it was funny because the agent told me, he said, you know, Nat, you, um, you know, I've been in this business for 16 years and I've seen lots of changes. And, and if you don't adapt, then you're going to get left behind. And I said, okay, you know, I, I didn't debate him with that, but I totally disagree with that. What I feel as an agent that's been doing it for 27 years now is that if you have the fortitude to stick with what you believe and you treat people well and nicely, I wasn't a jerk to this agent, um, but I'm going to stand up for what I believe in and I'm planting this seed in this video right now to just air it out to the world and see what you believe in. I'd love your take on it. Um, again, I don't mean to get on a soapbox. I feel like we as agents should just take a look at what's going on. I'm sure as a buyer's agent, you don't like bumping into other people. I'm sure as a seller's agent, yes, you want to be the hero. It's hard to get sellers now, but you can't, I mean, I could go out on the corner and bark like a dog and be a hero for a seller. It's not some massive thing to get 25 offers on a property. I mean, it's going to happen. I'm just saying, design your approach with the big picture in mind. And the big picture is for us to be in this industry for a long time. The big picture is to elevate the industry. The big picture is to feel good when meeting with other agents that we know we treated well. And you may not be thinking about any of this stuff, but it's a small town and we all have our challenges. And, and you know, I've heard agents say, well, my sellers wanted it to be done this way. But here's the reality of that. I don't believe that. I think that's a cop out. We are guiding our sellers. They ask us what they should do. And I have this same conversation that I'm having with you right now with my sellers. And they agree. 100% of the time, the people have agreed. You know what? You're right, Nat. It is stressful. Yeah, we're going to do well. Let's make everybody feel okay about this. I don't corral people in in a three-hour window and make agents bump into each other. And I would ask you on your next listing to consider doing the same. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments, and thank you for watching this entire video. Bye.